We've had spotty showers since about 7 a.m. here in D.C., and the radar indicates it's going to continue. But nothing to stop football from happening at FedEx Field. The enthusiasm for football here on the East Coast always in the air. These folks are ready as their guys get set to match up. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line with Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. So first and 10 now from the 30. A first carry for the converted wideout, J.D. McKissick. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. Second down, Haskins looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. That's a gain of 11, would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. An early test, two plays in, this is third and two. Now it's Haskins. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Derek Barnett able to maneuver in for the sack. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. Here comes Rager. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at the 45. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And he's got it across the midfield, striping into Washington territory. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Next to receivers, they'll spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. And he'll go down, shy of the 40 at the 41. Four yards to pick up, first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. On first down, Wentz. And complete to Zach Ertz. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Wentz now on first down. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Ten more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the short catch and flip the down marker back to one. 
On first and ten, it's Sanders. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks, allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. From the 17, Wentz. And that's complete to Jeffrey. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. From the gun on third down, wins. Strong coverage by Washington, and now fourth down. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. Jake Elliott on for the field goal, a 31-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. The is and the good. Eagles, they take a 3 0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points. Maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Steven Sims now on the return. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got to look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Steven Sims, the intended receiver. And it's second down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Throwing again, Haskins. And a catch made by Dontrell Inman. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 15 yards on the play, first down. First and 10. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first and 10, it's Haskins. He gets it to Thomas. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second and five. Haskins going to throw again. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. They will run it. It's McKissick. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, 
Their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. They'll run with McKissick. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Carrier. He's definitely one of the best defensive tackles in the game. He's been a pro bowler the last five years running. When you run against Fletcher Cox, good luck. And they got to get to the 23 here on third. Here's Haskins to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 13 yards there and a Washington first. Washington. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. From the red zone now, Haskins on first down. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backside of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, Hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Second and goal. Well, that play's not going to go in their highlight reel at the end of the season, but the only benefit to the offense, maybe a little more space if they want to throw the football now after taking that loss. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Here's McKissick, and he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Taking it in from four yards out, and Washington has taken the lead. On that sideline, they're saying that was more like it. The first down run went backwards, that time into the end zone. And I like their little bit of courage and play calling, too, because after an unsuccessful run, especially one where you lose yardage, you oftentimes go right to throw in the football. They came right back with a running play, and it paid off handsomely. Eagle. The point after threw the raindrops up and good, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So back onto the field. Here come the Eagles for their second drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves them with a very manageable second and one. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 16 yards, a first down. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. This pass complete wins to Ertz. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. 
Second down and five. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. And his throw is incomplete. The Pro Bowl tight end, Zach Ertz, the intended target. And that'll make it third down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball. But surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Again, it's Wentz. And that's complete to Sanders. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Complete five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. On the play. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. It was Jonathan Bostic there on the stop. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Quick throw out wide by Wentz, and he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Made the quick throw there outside the numbers, and you can feel the thought process. They just wanted to get in his hands and let him make a play. But how about the job they did defensively to keep him bottled up? Instead, they tackle him for a loss. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive, as this is third and ten. Wentz going to throw. They still can't get it. Wentz can pull it down when he needs to, and the 6'5 quarterback picks up the first down. Wentz now on first down. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and two. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Now a first and 10 at the 11. First and ten, here's Wentz. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Close quickly, and he'll force the incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Shotgun now for Wentz. This is caught, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. The Eagles on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. From the gun, it's Wentz. Flushed out right. And he'll score! Touchdown, Eagles! Taking it in from two yards out. And once again, the Eagles are back out in front. 
Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Makes the score Eagles 10, Washington 7. Jake Elliott to kick. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the win out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. To throw again. Haskins. It's hauled in here by Edmund. And yeah, they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Javon Hargrave never giving up. He works his way to the QB for a loss of 12. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Thomas has got it, complete. That throw good for only a couple, it brings up third down. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's gonna bring up third down. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Here's Haskins out of the gun. And that is incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. Here's Tressway now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 37. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. And now it's second down. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. 
Working from the gun, Wentz. This ball complete to Rager. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. A gain of 13, it's a first down. And now you saw exactly why the rookie out of TCU, Jalen Rager, was selected in the first round by the Philadelphia Eagles. Great quickness, terrific speed, adds a deep threat to the lineup. And remember, Carson Wentz threw for over 4,000 yards last year and didn't have a single wide receiver who had catches over 500 yards. A terrific addition by the Eagles in the first round, albeit a bit of a surprise. I think, but I think the ball's out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. A nice job there on the escape and scramble, a first down, a 16-yard gain. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. Wentz on target there to Jeffrey. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Throwing on first is Wentz. And they're going to get him. He sacked back around the 28. Montez Sweat credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Strong safety landed Collins, the one who got a hand in there, knocked it away. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. On third and long, it's wins. Strong coverage by Washington, and now fourth down. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He made his first attempt, this from 45. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he returns this to the 22. Now comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. 
And he'll be brought down here at the 28. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. It's a pickup. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First and 10. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work. And that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Haskins. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So that'll back him up five. From the gun, it's Haskins. And Thomas has it. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. They give him 16 yards there, and it's a Washington first down. First and 10. That's but this offense can get their tight ends involved. They can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Now Haskins on first down. And incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Second and ten. A carry now for McKissick. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Third down, here's Haskins. And he finds McLaurin. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. First down, Washington. Haskins finding McLaurin. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here. And that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. From the gun, he'll hand this off. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll bring up a second down. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier, but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. It's a pickup of three, and we have now arrived at the two-minute warning. Third and two. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Out of the shotgun, Haskins. 
Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. So now on fourth down, Washington will hand things over to their kicker, Dustin Hopkins. 29-yard attempt. Hopkins' kick is good. But wait up now, a flag is down. If this is on the defense, they're going to get the first. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Here's Haskins. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? And a lot of talent on this Eagle defense, and you've seen it on these last two plays, both losses. That'll go as a loss of five. And that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. Operating from the gun, Haskins. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while, but when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. Makes the score. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It's not like you're going negative on I was. I was. Sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. This one taken just inside the 10. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away and it's second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. To throw is Wentz. It's caught by Sanders. The Eagles gonna take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Now wins. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Watch the middle, watch the middle, watch the middle, watch the 
On fourth down, out is the punter, Cameron Johnston, to boot it away. Steven Sims set to return it for Washington. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. And now we get another look at Washington on offense. Down three under a minute to go. How aggressive are you going to be in this spot? Not as aggressive as I probably would want to be. Only down three. I mean, it might as well be even going into the half. That's not a deficit that makes me want to push it and potentially make a mistake in this situation and cost myself even more points. But boy, getting in a field goal range and tying it, that's tempting. Awfully enticing. You almost talked me into it. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Less than 30 seconds to go in the half. Pretty good starting field position, all things considered. You'd think they definitely have time to get in a field goal range. Yes, and you get into the huddle or you come off the bench here and you've called multiple plays because you're going to say, this is how we're going to run them in order, guys. You don't have time for audibles. You don't have time to change anything. You're trying to get the ball in position to at least get three. They've got a great shot. Pressure gets to Haskins, and down he goes. Give the sack to Fletcher Cox. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. From the gun, Haskins. Well, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. A tough spot for Haskins in Washington here. Third and long after that last sack. Not wanting to risk another sack. They'll play it safe with a run. And they will get to him behind the line, but the clock continues to tick down. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Here's Tressway now, as he's on to punt for Washington. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're just feeling it. And now this throw incomplete, and that is how this first half will come to an end. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Out come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done they're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show him one thing, hit him with something else. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And all the way down to the 41-yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. 
A little bit of a breakdown there defensively, and the RPO turns into a big chunk play. And when you think about running offense, the word comes to mind, assignment, right? Because you have to carry those out. But you have to play assignment football and defense, too, against a team that runs these RPOs because everyone has to be in the right place. Who's got the quarterback? Who's got the running back? Who's covering the receivers? This one worked quite well on that play. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down in the 38. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. From the 38, Wentz throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Now Wentz. That's caught by Jackson. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. They go back to the ground with Sanders and only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. Chase Young. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Wentz going to throw. He'll hit Jackson complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. 16. It's a first down on a gain of 10. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had a big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Second and three from the 9. Another run with Sanders. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll run with Sanders. They give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Miles Sanders taking it in. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because... You have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation.
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Here's Sims to return. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. First possession of the second half now for Washington. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Second and 12. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. He gets it to Thomas. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. First and 10 at the 40. That tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. He'll layer this one out deep for Sims. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. This defense tightening up a bit. That last catch, just one yard, making it third and nine. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he will get this to the midfield stripe, but that's not going to be enough. He's a few yards short. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. Eagles set and ready for their next offensive drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. Sanders, the ball carrier. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second and seven. Wentz throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. It's third down and seven yards to go. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Shotgun now for Wentz. And this is going to be incomplete. Pass thrown to the sideline and incomplete. It's fourth down. He 
Here's Cameron Johnston now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. It'll be a net of 39, 41-yard punt, two on the return. And possession will switch, hands first and 10. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so that can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. On second and nine, Haskins. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. 11 yards there, first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. And they'll run on the inside handoff. Mikel Roby brings him down. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Haskins. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. To Terry McLaurin. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Four yards on the pickup. Good enough to extend the drive. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. They'll go again with McKissick. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Taken down. That's yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Haskins. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 12 yards there and a first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Throwing now, Haskins on first down. It's hauled in here by Edmund. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now at FedEx Field. It's Washington with the football, but trailing here as we begin quarter number four. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he'll give it here to his running back. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. 
And to give this time to the tailback. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. They end up getting stuffed twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. First and ten and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Wentz now to throw, and that'll be incomplete. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Incomplete. It's now second and ten. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Working from the gun. Wentz toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Chase Young in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Washington entered the draft with the number two overall selection, so they had plenty of options and directions that they could go. But let's face it, when you see Chase Young from Ohio State and you have a chance to add him to an already formidable defensive front, you go ahead and select him and turn him loose. The best pass rusher in the draft with plenty of moves already. He's only going to get better and will be a double-digit sack guy for years to come. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Haskins in the Washington offense going to come up here first and 10 at their own 27. He'll throw from the gun. Throwing right, and that's complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. On first down, it's Haskins. Thomas has got it, complete. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Pressure gets to Haskins, and down he goes. Derek Barnett able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. To throw on third down. Haskins, and that is incomplete. You tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Here's Tressway now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. It's a 41-yard punt, but just a net of 31 following the run back. And that will come the offense as they take over. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. They've got a chance now to put this game away following that last defensive stop and punt. 
Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. He'll start with a handoff to Sanders. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Four yards the pick up, first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Jonathan Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. On first down, Sanders. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Jonathan this drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? What's that, five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. On second down now, it's Sanders. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker. And now it's third down. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. The Eagles on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. Here it's third and three. They'll run with a former Badger. It's Corey Clement. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. A gain of two yards on the play brings up fourth down. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. Going for it with Sanders. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. Eagles. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. They'll run with Sanders. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain on the play. But one thing we certainly know, Alabama churns out first-round picks, and there's another nice play there by one of them, Jonathan Allen, the big defensive tackle. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. And his throw here is incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. The Eagles on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third and 10. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. Eight yards on the screen there, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. 
Wentz on the give to Sanders. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. Philadelphia. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Matthew Ioannidis, he's the culprit, dropping him for a two-yard loss. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number, and we can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. At the 23, it's second and 12. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? You need your wide receivers as blockers. Sometimes they get a hold. The big runs are often a result of what they do on the perimeter. In this case, got caught holding, and this one will come back. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. They run out of the gun with Clement. Give him five yards on the run there, but it'll leave him with a definite third and long on the horizon. Five yards on the play, and it's third down. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground and he'll take this down just shy of the 25 yard line and now right out of the two minute break we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go so on fourth down out trots the kicker in a big spot here on the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will stretch the lead up to 13. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But they still ate up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Sims to return. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. So here's Haskins in the Washington offense. Down by 13. A little under a minute 50 remaining. It's been a struggle to score all day and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Haskins looking to throw on first down. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. 
Javon Hargrave in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Haskins gets him up to the line as quick as he can. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Haskins out of the gun. He's going to let it fly. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Uh, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it. Unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll try and throw for it with Haskins. He's able to find Inman. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need. That's exactly what they got done. Staying on his feet. His throw incomplete. Thomas, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. I'd love to know what he's saying in the huddle now to his guys up front because it's been a steady stream of pressure on him this entire game. That time, able to avoid the sack, but he's got to talk to his offensive line and say, guys, just a couple seconds extra, please. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Haskins going to throw again. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around to make a play on the football. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Haskins back to the air. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. Intended for Steven Sims. Incomplete. Brings up second and 10 at the 24-yard line. Here's second and ten. Throwing again. Haskins. And he's going to be taken down. Back around the 35-yard line. An 11-yard loss on the play. Brings up third down. So fly, Eagles, fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game. No turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn.
So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we sign off from Landover.